Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to print on a booklet size, which is this. This is a uh, regular letter size, right? And the booklet size is a quarter. So you get a page. You get printed a page like this. Okay. Alrighty. So how do you go about doing that? Uh, let's say you want to end up with this little book. Like this. Okay. So first you gotta go to this website here. Workingonperfection.30 webhostapp.com and then once there, you click where it says print booklets. And then print the booklets. You're going to get a 16 page numbering. So that 16 page is exactly um, for one, two pages, right? Two pages. So if you just want one page, you can go over here and click eight, and you get one sheet of paper with eight pages list. And then you grab this number, copy it, and you paste it before you print. But there is a little problem. For example, Microsoft Word, uh, if you get like, if you want to print, right, let's say I'm going to press control just to make a test and enter. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And I have that eight page document. And let's say I'm going to go over here and it says insert uh, page numbering. And I'm going to put it all at the top. Um, on the right and in the upper part and I'm gonna click accept and then I'm gonna get all these numbers on the page like this one here it says five okay so then I'm gonna print this right and then I'm gonna go to control P control P on the keyboard and I get the little text thing and then you like you say oh well I'm gonna paste in here what I copy oh and it did actually let me but sometimes it's pretty long okay so if you get it pretty long then you may have to convert this let's see how how far this allows me to go let's say look oh, oh pretty much oh, that's good okay so never mind with this one but with um, Adobe um, Acrobat it won't let you to print the PDF so you gotta use like for example this other one Foxy Reader and Foxy Re Reader does let you put or paste a lot of numbers okay so here you have these pages and you're gonna click and paste this and I pasted it right and then I'm gonna click accept and once you click accept, you're going to get these pages. Uh, but I let, let me see if I can print something else more interesting for me. <clears throat> so let's say I print this page here. It has 36 pages, but I'm just going to print 1 to 8, right? Okay. So I'm going to go over here and um, to the website. And I'm gonna select A pages. Yep, that's fine. That's that's the amount. Okay, I thought I had it. okay. But if let's say if your document is 36, you, you click 36 and then you do 36. Let's say your document is 51. And then this thing is gonna tell you please enter multiples of four. You submitted 51, however, they downgraded you to 48. 
and now it says you could add one white page to your document so let's say you use another uh, document <coughs> another like a PDF uh, thing that um, adds pages to PDFs and then you click here and then you add one more page and then you click 52 right and then you, you do show number list and then now you get the 52 however let's say you do not have a thing that will alter your PDF so then you exchanges 52 by something on your document that is a white page okay or uh, let's say you have uh, 54 okay 56 let's say 50 uh, 54 56 okay, 56 so then you know that 56 all the way down to 52 because you only have 50, I'm sorry, to 51. You know, 56, you change that, you exchange that number for a white page or a document, and then, um, and so on. And this program will update. So the next is that it will, you will actually be able to enter what page you want to be repeated in, in, in this other numbers, but this is the beta version. So. Well, maybe when you discover this video, this will be already updated. So now, um, let's go back to the uh, the eight page example, and I I copy this right, copy, and then I go to the Foxy Reader, and I click Control P, and then I go to Properties. This is the very first important thing you want to do. You go to Properties. And your printer most have uh, double side printing, else you can print one side first and then the other one. And that becomes more complicated and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, but very first, let's imagine that you do have a printer that prints on both sides. So then you click on flip over, right, and then it flip, uh, flips over and then it will be just like this and now you want to select down here four pages do not do booklet printing because booklet printing will print only two pages one and two right it will be like this and then you won't be able to add more pages it will only be two so you once you do to go to four you will lose that booklet printing but we are going to do booklet printing with the other technique. So you have flip over and then the pages, four pages per sheet, okay? And then you click here and you do pages and you do paste. And now we are going to print from the one to page eight. Let's click OK. And it's going to print only one page, right? One page. And now, if you do print a word, let's, well, that works, right? If you print a word and your page is like a, uh, off, like a bigger uh, page, it's not like the letter size is the other one, the legal, then once, before you actually go and print, because some printers do not turn legal pages, you gotta click in here where it says adjust or scale, and then you select letter, okay? And then you click accept. All right. Now let's imagine, let's imagine that your printer is not a double side printer, okay? And then a, a double side printer, it will just take that page that it printed and then spits the page printed in the other side. See that? This is printed over there and it's printed up here. And now you get this, this page. This full page. And then we are gonna go and cut it. And I was gonna cut it, but let's put it aside for now for just one second. And I'm gonna show you how to print this page on a one side document. Okay, so now you have with this technique, all right? So now you select 
as regular, right? And then go control print. But instead of this, you look for one of those printers that are like a, a WPDF printer or a Foxy Reader print PDF printer or a Microsoft document printer or whatever the heck you happen to have that will print like this and then you go you select the PDF printer you click properties and then you look pages per sheet and you select four okay and then you can select another color and stuff and you click OK so now you're gonna click you're gonna actually print a PDF right you're gonna click a PDF let's accept and the PDF document will be just called test. Four page. And you can click enter and then you wait until it's created. Once it's created, it's only gonna have the number one and the stuff or like the little numbers up here, you know, like little numbers here. Alright, so it's, it's almost done. And it's gonna open that page up. So now you have one and two and four. But that's actually I made a mistake. You don't want this. If you do that, it will just be in order. So you don't want that. Okay, sorry about that. But that's a good example of what what it will happen if you don't come here where it says pages. Okay, and then you and then you paste control V here on the keyboard, control and then V and it and it gets pasted, right? And then now you click accept when let's scale it to letter, click accept, and we are gonna overwrite a test for document right there. And then click save. Oh this thing already exists and it says yes, okay. So it will be overwritten. This is the one that we just made, right? And now it comes number eight, number one, and so on. And then you control P, okay? And then you have this document to ready to print. But now instead, and then you have one page has four documents already. So what you want to do is you just click on pay or print, um, uh, what's it called? See, mm, like odd and even pages. Okay, we're here. Where's this sub? Like whatever it is. I don't know what what would we say. What would be the word in English? Because this thing is in Spanish. Like this, the computer I'm using. So you select where it says only pairs or even even or odds right and you click only on first you want to click on odds because this will be the page number one and then you print that and if it's a large it's a large book you print all the odds right and then you go over there in your printer and you arrange them to print them over and maybe you want to do it in verb pages or something like that and then instead of printing from the beginning to the end, you print from the end to the beginning once you, you put your pages in there or whatever you have to do to use your printer because some printers are different. And the printers are different. Let me show you how. Here, here for example, this other printer that is all in one side, one sided printer. It has like a little page thing. And then you can see that when it flips over you don't see anything on the other side but you see marks there right but if you do see the marks once you when it once it flips over then it will, will print on the bottom of the page on the bottom of the page so on the bottom of the page when when you see this markings pointed up you know on the upper side it will print on the page up here all right so now you come here and grab one of those things 
that has you know like a little you 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 grab your paper cutter or whatever and I'm just gonna make a calculation that it will be there right because film in and cut it at the same time all right so then I cut it and then just simply put this page over this over this like that and then you flip it and then you fold it sorry fold it and you get it page one page two three but this one has number one but it doesn't matter and then we'll be number two in here and number three and that's it and that's how you get your little booklet one page printed little booklet and that's how you can get bigger booklets like this one uh, isn't that awesome i hope you enjoy this video and remember what the website side the website and i'll put it on the description so you can just click on it all right take care and goodbye thanks for watching